Okay, black powder rifle, distance of three feet. Woohoo! Oh yeah, I see the round in the back of the box. That's definitely lethal at three feet. Dead through three feet, safe through five. But with the 23 degree shooting angle, you'd actually be safe just two feet under the surface. So, bring on the pump action shotgun. Okay, deer slug in the shotgun, 15 feet. It was this that split their first rig. And just like then, it's firing at 1,400 feet per second. Adam's in to inspect the ballistics gel, but there's no bullet in it. It's empty. It dropped right below me, so it expended all its energy. More like 10 feet rather than 15 feet, so let's bring it up to 10. Okay. Same increment as before. And three, two, one. <laughs> It's smoking. It may be smoking, but yet again the round falls short of the target, so the gels moved up to eight feet. Three, two, one. All right. Let's see what we got. Jamie's beginning to enjoy this. <laughs> and this time it's a hit so the shotgun's lethal at eight feet. With this angle, below four feet, and you'd be safe. And next up, it's the first of the supersonic weapons, the 223 rifle, firing at a frightening 2,500 feet per second. So this is the 223 at 10 feet. Now that was loud. Frogman Adams in to assess the damage. That was right there. <laughs> well, there's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> this thing just exploded. What are these hollow points or something? No, just full metal jacket. That's the very tip of it. I mean, it's, uh, just, it's littered down there. I got up all the pieces I could. Well, Adam, let's just bring this sucker right up to the shortest distance we can do. What's that, like three feet? Absolutely, it's three feet. Three, two, one. Surely three feet can't stop that mother. The tip of the bullet was just resting at the ballistics gel. Wow, this thing's breaking up the minute it hits the water. So, you know, no wonder we can't hit the ballistics gel. So, as surprised as I am to say it, 223 myth actually confirmed. On entering the water, the supersonic 223 bullet decelerates so fast that it disintegrates into tiny black fragments, which sink slowly to the bottom of the pool. So the team jumped the gun to the M1, firing at 2,800 feet per second. This is a serious weapon, and one that's already been through the Mythbusters mill. When Adam and Jamie tested how tough bulletproof glass was, no guns could penetrate it. Until, that is, they tried the M1. That went right oh. through it. This puppy flew straight through. And three, two, one. And the results? The same as for the 223. Tiny fragments of bullet. You know what, instead of going to five feet, let's bring this thing right back up to, you know, that two foot, three foot mark that we had. Okay. This is the M1 Grand 30 caliber at two feet. Two, one. At two feet, the powerful M1 just pierces the ballistics gel. It's about four inches in, which by our calibration is just enough to break the skin. Incredibly, this myth is confirmed for another supersonic gun. Considering that out of water, that very bullet, when we were testing our blast chamber, went through two and a half inches of bulletproof glass, the water obviously has a profound effect on the bullet in completely eliminating its deadliness very quickly. It's two feet underwater, 10 inches down from the surface. The myth's confirmed. 
that only leaves the frightening 50 cal. But are the Mythbusters brave enough to shoot this brute into the pool? I don't know whether you understand what is about to happen here, but <laughs> this is the M1 Grant. Yeah. This is the 50 caliber. <laughs> the M1 Grant holds 150 grains. This one is 600 grains. This kills you. This kills you and everyone else in the room. Despite its crazy size, it looks like Jamie's going to bite the bullet and really fire this thing. Yeah, let's just be prepared to get, unpack and get out of here really fast. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be gone before the pool fully drains. <laughs> Jamie's not being quite so lighthearted. So the safety's off now? I would think so, yeah. Okay. <laughs> With the bullet loaded, it's time to step back to safety for everyone except Jamie. OK, eyes and ears. This is the 50 caliber at 10 feet. Come hell or high water, this beast is going to get fired. Three, two, one. Well, everyone seems to be alive. <laughs> yeah, look at the water coming off of the roof. <laughs> that was more like an explosion than a gunshot. But where's the banana bullet? There is no bullet in the ballistics gel. <gasps> but with this weapon, the bullet could have gone through the gel and buried itself in the far side of the pool. What do you got? I got a bunch of stuff. It expended all its energy within three feet and became totally non-lethal. <laughs> wow. <laughs> At 23 degrees, even the terrifying 50 cal won't get you. Just 14 inches under and you'd be safe. Well, Adam, this is totally amazing. Even with the 50 caliber, an armor-piercing round, it lost all its energy within the first couple of feet. It ripped the copper jacket off of it and didn't penetrate the, the target. Well, just like all our other high-powered rifles. Yeah. And yet, with the slower muzzle velocity weapons, like a handgun, the black powder rifle, and the shotgun, we found deeper penetration, sometimes as much as eight feet. But at a 30-degree angle, you'd still only have to get your body under about three feet, which is quite achievable. Well, I guess you know what that means. Yeah, the myth is confirmed. confirmed. You would be safe. Hmm. Not that I'd want to try it. 